guys, how's it going? What up? It's uh, Halloween drawings. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I introduced myself like that. Um, today we're going to go over how to draw... I'm sorry, I'm Enrique. Welcome. Uh, this is the channel where you learn to draw different things related to Halloween. It could be a cute drawing or it could be a very complex drawing, but most of them are cute and simple and they're made for people that don't really know how to draw that well. And, uh, you know, they're easy drawings. They're drawings so that whatever I draw, you should be able to draw just as well. You know, that's the idea. Um, but let's... Uh, you know, if you guys do like that, please hit that um, subscribe button and click that little bell icon because that bell icon is what tells you uh, when I actually upload a video. So let's get going with this cute. Oh yeah, today we're gonna draw um, a cat vampire, cat Dracula, kitty Dracula. Yep, that is the thing. Before that though, really really quick word from our sponsor, uh, Armadillo pencil case, a pencil case that. Um, sorry about that. This is dirty. This is actually mine. So I've used it up, it's kind of, maybe kind of gross, I don't know how it looks on camera. But you can put different kind of pencils in there, and even this large marker over here on the corner, because there's one with rubber band. And you can actually strap this to your wrist if you actually go out to sketching, things like that, you don't want it on you, boom, you just take it out. Uh, outside of that, uh, if you don't want to do that, there's a rubber band in the back of it. And this wraps around pretty much any sketchbook, uh, keeps it cozy, really tight to your sketchbook. Um, there's even a magnet inside to stick it to metal items, so it is very versatile. If you really want, you can hang it off this little loop keychain thing. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. That was our word. Oh yeah, go to arm-adillo.com. Arm-adillo.com. I'm going to put in the link, but it's not going to be clickable. I'm just going to write it in the link. Uh, arm-adillo.com. It's also on Amazon, by the way, as well. Arm-adillo.com. All right, let's get going on the cat drawing here. So, kind of these parentheses, right? Is that what you call it? Parentheses? That's gonna be for the head. And then these kind of fat triangles, these bloated triangles. Like so. Um, let me see what else. I think. Now we'll get the head, head of the cat, right? Now what we're gonna do. Down to the body. One second. Foot? I'm sorry, foot. Paw, really. Pulling down again from the torso here. Around it, kind of flat at the bottom. Other paw. Pulling back. A C shape. Foot. And curve that any way you like. It's just the tail. It's, gonna, it's just a tube, elongated tube. Collar. Now we're getting into some bat, some uh, a cape here. See so how the other cape flows. Doesn't matter. I make that you can pull that downward. There's no rhyme or rhythm to that. Just make it. F you know, you can make yours flat at the end too. Uh, this kind of Dracula-like look. Then I'm going to draw triangle nose. Circle. Circle for the eyes. And it's really more of an egg shape. Putting a line across. And those are going to be highlights, right? Cat mouth, pull down. It's kind of these round shapes, right? Maybe the cat's saying something. What's he saying, you ask? 
but that's not it. Pull, keep pulling the mouth over here and then throw the fangs. Little tiny fangs at the end of that. Three dots. Whiskers. Instead of the cat ears. Underneath the mouth. Hello! Hello, kitty. Um, so this cat's gonna be actually white. It's gonna be a little bit different than normal. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab... Pink right here for the Crayola brand for the nose and pink for the inner ear. And we're going to red for the tongue here. If you really want to be gruesome, you can grab, like, you know, the cat has just drank blood and... Ah, not so cute anymore, huh? Look at that. And then red will also be for the inside of a cape. Inside of Dracula's cape is always red, so... Inside, inside. And then I'm going to grab the black colored pencil. And I'm outer part of the cape will be black. I'm not going to color it too deep because I don't want it to blend into the line too much, but it'll be deep enough. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That is a vampire cat. Thanks a lot guys, I appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you next time.